What do you find exciting about all this, PJ? I mean, it's a pretty intense lifestyle you've had. Well, you know, it's hard to find something as exciting as riding thoroughbred mm -hmm. race horses, you know, sitting mm -hmm. in a starting gate. Yeah. And I mean, you can feel the horse's heart beating beneath you. And, right. you know, you just wait for that split second when them gates fly open and, and you and your horse just, just lunge into the most exciting two minutes. I mean, it's, it's hard to find something as exciting as that. Um, but I think, you know, now my life um, I find exciting is watching my daughter grow up mm -hmm. and watching her become a young lady mm -hmm. and uh, kind of find herself and um, riding my motorcycle. I enjoy yes. riding my motorcycle yes. and uh, playing softball with the church league. One thing I wanted to mention, and I've seen you speak before, that's why I wanted to have you on the show because it was so phenomenal. I've seen you speak twice. Can you take a brief moment and kind of segue and talk about the wall that many people have been a part of but not actually as a jockey at Churchill Downs on Derby Day coming around the final turn? Well, 1984, when, uh, when I became the second woman to, uh, to ride in the Derby, it was just a big media frenzy. Mm -hmm. And... Um, and it was fun the whole week leading up to it because we did a lot of interviews and everybody wanted sure. to talk to me and everything. But you know what? I really had to find out what I really needed to know. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, I was going out for one of the biggest races in my career. I really needed to find out. So I went to the source, uh, Don Brumfield. Um, they call him the boot. He's been in Kentucky for, mm -hmm. you know, so many years. And, and I mean, he was the man. Yeah. And I went to him one morning and I said, Don, I said, what do I need to know? What do I need to know? I'm getting ready to ride in the Derby, you know. And, and, you know, with his big southern drawl, he says, well, <laughs> he said, you just got to know about the wall. He says, don't worry about it. He says, just put your head down. He says, your horse might kind of prick his ear. He says, but just put your head down and keep riding. Don't mm -hmm. worry about the wall. And it kind of left me like, the wall, you know, and he didn't <laughs> expound like, okay. on it. And I'm going, okay, the wall. I'm going out to ride the derby. Like and I a says, riddle okay. or something. Yeah, I had no. no, you know, I had no idea what he was talking about until coming through the tunnel, my old Kentucky home, you're on the track, you leave the gate, and, um, and, and you're coming on the backside, and, 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 and you're into the moment, you're into the race, there's 22 horses, one of the largest fields in the Kentucky Derby, and, and, and you really had to concentrate on where everybody was, where everybody was going, you know, mm -hmm. what my horse was doing, so it was real intense in, in trying, to, trying to stay out of trouble, and I remember coming around the, the last turn, and um, the horses, the front horses were starting to back up, and yep. the late runners were making their run, and then you got the horses in the middle there, and, mm -hmm. and uh, I remember a hole opening up, and my horse is kind of up running underneath me a little bit, and I looked at the jock next to me, and he looked at me, and we looked right at each other, and we saw the hole open, and we both went for the hole at the same time, and I beat him to it, so that was a good thing. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, I got through the hole, and then headed down the stretch. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I was coming down the stretch, you know, I'm down riding. And my horse is, I mean, I'm not going to win the Kentucky Derby. I'm not even right. going to hit the board, but I'm trying to right. beat every horse that I could. Sure. And yeah. he's running. And then all of a sudden, I felt this, this force just kind of just lift me up by the saddle. And my horse kind of picked his head up and pricked his ears. And, and, and I was like, oh, my gosh, that's the wall. It was just this force that came. And it was the, it was the crowd. Wow. That that the I get noise. Just thinking, I've been in the crowd many the times. The noise. It was so. It was like a. It was like a sound barrier, like mm -hmm. like a boom, and you kind of hit it, and 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 then I remembered what Don said, the wall, and I put my head down and started whipping my horse again, <laughs> and he kind of put his head down, and we went through it. But it was like a sound barrier from from the noise of the crowd when they yeah. start cheering as the horses turn for home in the Kentucky Derby. I love that it was story. Awesome. I hope the audience enjoys it. That's just phenomenal. <laughs>